So y'all forgive me, the truck is regenerating. I got a new lid. While the truck was being repaired, they had these at TA and I actually liked it. I know it's white and it's gonna get dirty, but it's one of those ragged ones. But I like, you know how I like my patches and raised lettering. So yeah, I like this one, so I got it. <sighs> Last trucking. Yeah, man, it's been that day, baby. <laughs> oh, sweet mother of God. So what I did is I, I had like different things that were coming up during the day and I tried to break them up into different videos. When I took my 30 minute break, I called y'all. I was being a little lackadaisical because I was wasting time because I, I, because like I said, I cut my teeth in Texas and then my first trip out was coming here to Dallas, Texas for Werner. And um, then I ended up at the Werner, yeah, well, it wasn't more than that because it was drama. But anyway, um, I had a load today, as I said, into Houston. Let me, it's been that damn day, okay? So this is, this is video number four. I was meaning to do the, girl, the, the the video about the girl, and after seeing Tiffany's video, I just really said, you know, let me go ahead and get this out here because I had been copying it into the last few videos I did, but I didn't really do a video focusing on that situation. So I wanted to get that done, and, and I really thought that her video was excellent. I figured, hey, let me get that out here. Let me get the thing out about her, you know, Anybody out here, sometimes you meet truckers and they you talk to them and they may have other information they can help the authorities with and, you know, hit, get it out there. That's one of the things about social media now. I mean, we see everything from the election issues to, you know, political stuff and world stuff. And there's a lot going on right now. And I, as I keep telling people, I need to be paying very close attention, very, very close attention. I got to hear my deal right here on my arm. It's a black head. I hate hair bumps. <clears throat> so today was that damn day. And uh, I kind of had to step back and say, my company jacking with me. But then my attitude is this. These people going through so much, they, they don't know where they're coming and going. They got, <laughs> they got so much drama going on in the background of this company. And people don't think coming and going. And my time is. So, so I just, I kind of just got really calm. That's what told me I'm, I'm getting done. Cause normally I'd probably get mad and then I just got calm. So I put some pictures up in the beginning of this and it happens to be where the first, I have a three stop load and where the first part of this load was supposed to deliver. They gave me an address that put me directly in downtown freaking Houston. Mm -hmm. And uh, I had, I had, and I'm gonna take part of the responsibility when, when I was at Cargill I looked with the with the with the security guy. We looked at all the addresses to make sure we were going to all the right places because it was a like three or four stop load. We, we quickly went through everything. I was tired. I saw Houston. I saw Houston. I saw the different companies. We matched up the names. Okay, you good to go? Here you go. I went, got up the road because I was almost out of hours. Went to sleep. Got up, headed out. Then we had the breakdown problem with the brake issue. It's region and I'm sorry. So I end up in downtown. Y'all see the building on the, the beginning pictures? This damn place boarded up. <laughs> oh, baby. Sweet Jesus. I'm going, what in the Sam Hill? I'm like, the people just go out of business. So I send my driver manager something and she's out the office. She's a vet, and I think she has some disability stuff, plus she takes care of uh, her family. So sometimes she isn't in as frequently. Um, I get her situation more than the Oklahoma chick that was never there um, for that other company I was with for a minute. But um, sometimes she's not in. I really like dealing with her, or, or the other one is Jody. <clears throat> Jody reminds me a lot of myself as far as how she multitasks when I'm back with you. Back when I used to be in an office. And uh, my driver, Amanda Becca, really sweet spirit. She has, both, both of them are really nice ladies in their own way. They're just different. But Becca has a really sweet spirit. There's something about her that to me is a very sweet spirit. She's a former Marine. Jody drove for about a year, but her entire family is in trucking. So her mother used to be uh, a driver manager for the company that this company acquired. So she's very familiar with trucking. And I like the fact that she took at least a minimum of a year to understand 
what we go through out here. And they decided to become a driver manager. Some drivers are like, you just didn't cut it as a driver, so you went and became a driver. Hell, all of them need to become a driver for at least a year or more so they understand this crap, okay? So I like that about her. And I sent her a message and said, look, uh, she said, does that, she said, well, this is the address we got. She said, does that match what's on the bills? And I was like, you know, you know but I, by the time I figured it out, I, they took them a while because they were just getting in. And so I finally got here right now waiting on the lumper approval so that I can pay these people. But what was really that damn day, the next stop is directly up the street from this one. Had I been the one that they had in downtown Houston, so anyway, so then I had to go down there and make judgment calls as to what streets to go down. Because one GPS had, I'm looking at the over I'm like, oh, sweet Jesus. Other G, I'm like, okay. And I just had to make decisions on how to get back to the freeway. Finally got back to the freeway, got here. So now I got to take this over to Cisco's delivers at 11. And then see if I can find maybe, I don't know if I'm sitting on the street or if I'm going to go to a truck stop. Uh, I'm trying to decide if I'm doing that because I'm really out of hours and I have a personal convey over. I don't have much left on here, so I got this delivery from Cisco and then one more stop tomorrow. And uh, that'll be all on this pay paycheck, which is good, even with the breakdown. That's actually a good thing. And then I think I'm out of hours. I might have to do another reset, which I could use because I need to do some laundry. And then we can roll again for the weekend. So I'll probably sit down Thursday. Well, whatever part of Wednesday and then part of Thursday. And then roll for the weekend. So hopefully my job manager will be back tomorrow and then have to go. Because I really prefer give me a load to get me through the weekend. I don't like dealing with weekend dispatch. We have two ladies we deal with. But like yesterday, one of them had to take care of us. And I could tell she said something and I almost had to cleave my tongue. Because I, I would get sarcastic on your ass in a minute. I Very little time. Vicky, you were talking about how you become kind of a, you know, kind of you get some a-hole tendencies. Bill told me that happens, too. You become a little more harder. Child. Especially some of these companies. That's like the, the Oklahoma company I was dealing with when I went in there. Beautiful truck. That truck was gorgeous. Brand new 2019. Gorgeous, gorgeous Freightliner, Cascadia. I had the cable teller, the satellite TV. I had my microwave, my, my, my refrigerator on there. Loved it. Perfect. Mess with my money and my home time. You do those too, I gotta do this. I don't need, it could be a gorgeous truck. And they, they're getting away with it because some of the people, it, it is funny because the headhunter recommended me there. She originally was trying to get me to do the lease purchase with them. And the lease purchase payments were really, really dirt cheap. Well, Shady McLaughlin behind the scenes was that they charge you a percent per mile on the payments. See, your payments are going to come up to about between anywhere from six to eight hundred dollars a month. Most of these companies that charge for these purchases are eight hundred a month, eight hundred a week. <sighs> Whatever, dude. I'm like, so now she's putting it out there and she's putting because I don't know what they revealed to her, but it's, it was funny because some other drivers who were more long driven, they said that a newbie will fall for them. But this right here is not a good deal. And then for your company side, they were doing that force per diem. I don't believe in no force per diem. If I ain't tell you to take it out, you know, take out taxes. Too much shady McLaughlin stuff. So then they tried to move to the drive van side. Would have been thirty cents. So thirty cents take home per mile. You crazy as hell. It's crazy. And you gonna keep four tenths? No, 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 no. Let me. Let me tell you what. I'm gonna clean your truck up. I park it on your yard, Phoenix. And I'll come on back over to these people for a minute, do my year, see if they try to do the training thing. If that don't work out, then I'll try to find something else. That's what I'm doing. Find something where I'm making more money and you're not jacking my home time. See, they jack with my home time, that right there. And I also know what I can make on money wise. I knew that from back in 2012. So I got my year back in. And like I said, it's not a bad company. They just, it's for starters. It's a starter company. I, I the, the amenities I had with that other company, I should almost have this. Oh, and they had an APU, electric APU. But nobody calling me or bothering about no damn idle. That's starter company BS. And that actually needs to be gone too. That's part of the other reason why you got turnover because it's like Bill. Bill's like I don't, you know, he can call say I, I don't want I don't want an internal dash cam. He told me he said 
I don't care if you got external dash cam. If you got dash cam looking at me, okay, I'm not interested in them. This company turned their internal dash cams off because they started losing drivers. People don't want that crap. It's crazy. Anyway, so yeah, I dropped a, a bunch of videos today. Not usual, not typical, but yes, I ended up downtown Houston. Had to get out of there, come find this place, and come find out Cisco Redham Street, which is where my next move is. I gotta go here and then the Cisco Redham Street. I'm in downtown. They had me downtown Houston. The address they got on here is wrong. And, I'm, and I don't know if they delivered here before and they just got the wrong address. But I was like, you know what? This, this is so much insanity. It's, it's just insanity. And, and then I first I started getting mad. Then I just calmed down and said, you know what? End of the year. End of the year, shit. It just tell me what you need to the end of the year. You know? Like I said, the only thing I miss, I, the, driver, the two driver managers, I like them, but mm -mm, I can't do it. A, that's a truck. I got the leany thing going on on the right. It pulls right. And then just trying to get one of the newer trucks. It's like you got to go in there at the end of the day. I don't understand the Phoenix yard. You give to the babies, babies tear them up. I had a guy who's a veteran. And he went in there and told me, can, can I get me into one of 18 or 19? And they're like, oh, no, they're for certain drivers. And they sent him through all the other BS. He was a mentor, too. I was like, yeah, dude, next. Next, next, next. I still have my mentor status too, but I'm just like, mm, I'm good. I want you. And also, that's that I don't, I don't want to train. I don't, I don't mm. need the training to done. Now, if I, and I don't know about the whole prime thing, I'm looking at them. Uh, one thing about prime, I ain't never seen a fat prime driver, and I'm bad as hell. That's why I got to talk to my homegirl on, on 411. Because I don't know, I thought they had, like, you had to do aerobics and stuff. But the lady told me she's on the driver advocacy board for them that I met at the truck stop when I met Shy. And I was talking to in the video. She said that they just make you carry the little forty pound crate. I'm like, Dad, I mean, it's like carrying some chains. You know, um you carry the forty pound crate, that's like carrying my, my hundred pound duffel bag sometimes when I pack it up with everything on there. I do that, I just do that every kind of time. I got a limp. You know, that's the only thing. So I gotta see how that's gonna work out. Um Yeah, I'm tired and I'm hungry. I don't know, like I said, I might park on the street just make myself a sandwich. Uh, if they got parking out after I get done to a system, then I got the sandwich there. I got sandwich stuff right there. Sandwich stuff, you know, I got tomato, I got some lettuce. I'm gonna have an onion. I got some sharp cheddar. I like sharp cheddar. I did have a really good, I was going to get a burrito from this Mexican place that wasn't open in Utah next to the Loves in uh, OKC, but there was a, I went in just to the subway because I wanted something quick and I didn't feel like going back there making a sandwich because what I make is every time I make a sandwich. I had the best loves uh, or Subway sandwich. I had their ham sandwich on this new bread they got. But what got me was how fresh the vegetables were. Even though I'm fat, y'all, I love veggies. Cooked veggies, raw veggies, I like veggies. So, anywho, so yeah, I had to go through some shenanigans getting this truck, this big ass truck from downtown Houston. Praying that nothing over here. I, I did get some trees though. They were already we call it truck gym when you see a little the square like this. Chuck gym, chuck gym. Anyway, this is the only video I'm putting up. Um, I've been trying to listen for the election, but everybody is giving it. I don't want to hear your damn opinion. I don't want to. Uh, y'all just give me the stats. So I have to go on here and try to find out what the stats are, y'all. Oh my gosh, I have to get the approval for this damn lumber. Waiting on the lumper status. It takes them forever. Okay, I'm waiting on the lumper day in So what they do is they place you in the queue. And there's a group of people. You do the lumper thing. You gotta wait for them. That's okay, the truck is reaching it. This is another thing. It's cold as hell. It's another thing. Anyway, y'all be blessed. Be safe. Um, I'm going to be looking up something on Pam. Dustin told me something took place with Pam Transportation. I'm not sure about the details, and I'll talk about it. Ask me. They put something out there for me to talk about. So I'll check on it, and then we'll do a talk on it. And I'm trying to figure out what topic we're going to cover for the truck or floor one one. <clears throat> Shot had sent me a list. I got to go back to my email and find the list. Might do something from there. 
But we got the holidays coming up, so I don't know if we'll do something holiday driven. I think about doing something holiday driven. I haven't decided. Y'all give me some ideas if y'all got any. Uh, something we can talk about on the Chapter 411 in conjunction with the holidays. And I'm trying to decide if I'm doing, I'm thinking about getting home for Black Friday, or Black Thursday now, not Black Friday. I didn't see what's on. There's a couple of applications you can download to see what they're going to do. You know what? I might do that while I'm waiting here and see what's on sale. Like, I got a laptop one time for a hundred some dollars. I got child babies. Cheap as hell. I got, a t I got like a 32 inch TV for a hundred some dollars too. Cheap as hell. I'm cheap as hell. And they be like, good deal too. Damn good deal. Sure did. Yep. Anyway, y'all, two and two be blessed. I'm about to upload the video. I'm waiting right now for the last for the last one today. Ooh, my lips is ashy as hell. Mm -hmm. Oh well. Um, I gotta deliver here. One more in Houston, and actually I'm gonna park. They got parking, so I ain't saying that until I'm gonna pull up there and park because I don't think they lock it. And if they do, then I just move to the street. But um. They have like parking for deliveries, so I'm presuming they must have deliveries all day. It's Cisco. Um, so I shouldn't be very long, and then I'm gonna go back here and either make a sandwich or I thought about ordering something. We got a terminal here in Houston, but I don't have no hours and I don't want to use any more time. I'm gonna go to sleep, and then I gotta head out to deliver to Wally Wally World somewhere. Not too, hopefully, it ain't too far from here. Let's find out how far that is. And I didn't stop for fuel, so when I got enough fuel, should be able to fuel to get there. My man to tell him to give me a fuel route on the way there. It shouldn't be too too far. Perfectly. I've been here before, I know I have. But it's DC. And I think it delivers early in the morning tomorrow. So um, Give me a sandwich and go to sleep. Anywho, um, the lady here, she's a, a security lady. She got issues. So they don't have any signs. They just have you pull in this area and then it says enter deliveries in Cisco, right? So normally you just drive into Cisco, check in, and they let you park on the lot and then they call you. Well, she like, you got to go park your truck and walk back up here. Okay, I said, well, ma'am, I apologize, because uh, she's like, talking to you like you knew. I'm like, like you, you knew this was supposed to be the case. I said, there's no signage that tells you that, so not a problem. I'll you turn and go around. So I limp all the way up there. And then at the end, I should take my information. I said, may I have your name? You don't need my name, the black old sister. I'm like, ma'am, I just want your name. So in case they ask me, what check me up with. So I'm not complaining. Williams. All right, man. You got a blessed day. Y'all. Some of my people. Y'all. I'm like, Grandma is, she probably pissed because she old and have to work. I'm not mad at you. I was old. When I get old and I have to work still, I'm going to be pissed off, too. I, <laughs> I'm going to be pissed off, too. Anyway, I don't have anything else to say, but yeah, you're right. I dropped a whole bunch of videos in one day, and I normally don't drop as many, but I just had different things. Well, I, like I said, the one subject on the lady, I wanted to get that one out, and I figured, you know, time like the present, especially after seeing Tiffany's video. And then, um, and it just really hit me that we really, I needed to get that out there. And then, um, other one was someone I had talked to that just kind of set, triggered something because they asked for some, you know, told me something personal, and I was like, I don't judge. Like, you know, well, let me say this. You know, a fruit, you know a tree by the fruit it bears, and you know, in judgment like that, for somebody who may um, have ulterior motives or want to do something negative to me, that's a whole other story. But if it's if it's issues, kind of like when I was in ministry, I've, I've learned not to you know be stupid for being in that. But I realize that people things happen in this life. And the things that happen to us in this life impact us on who we become later in adults. And um, it's really between us and God to try to work that out as best we can. And God gave us all free will right to live on this planet how we how we gonna live. And then we have to answer if it's not what he wants for our life. We have to answer that, answer that. 
the next <laughs> segment of life from my belief system. And so, you know, I can't, I don't judge people. I don't because I really don't know. I mean, we look at biblically, we look at somebody like King David, who was the most. David was an adulterer. He murdered folk. He, he was a hot mess. And God welcomed him in and said, he's a man after my own heart. And like, what I realized is that he realized that David had his issues and that David truly loved God. He honestly did. But, you know, we're born into a very jacked up situation because of man's fall in the very beginning. So it is what it is. I don't want to get on here and preach, but it just is what it is. And I leave it to God. So I don't, I don't judge anymore. I just love people the best I can where they at. If it's something I don't jack with, I don't jack with it. But other than that, that's the best I can do. I don't get caught up. Anyway, y'all, I'm going to upload this. Y'all see my pictures in the beginning of where I went to downtown Houston to the boarded up place. And they didn't even know. I'm like, how do you, you don't know? These two places right the street from each other. Literally a minute up the road. And I, you have me all downtown doing shenanigans. Luckily enough, I got to the second stop on time. First stop, I was late to for the reschedule because of the breakdown. Well, I was late because they said because they had the wrong address, but it's okay. I'm not gonna sweat over it. It is what it is. And my feet are out. I'm trying to decide if I'm gonna make my sandwich now or wait because I don't want them to call me back and I'm in the middle of making my sandwich when I'm hungry. I ate some crackers and one of those. I like these. Spicy tart, chili. I ate that. I'm gonna make a sandwich, I think. Still got ice left. I'm gonna get no bags of ice. I got some ice left. But yeah. Ah, <sighs> y'all. Mm. Yeah, I might make a sandwich. I got a little bit of potato salad back there in the cooler. And um, some chips and salsa. And I'm gonna take my happy butt to bed. I'm um, 30 minutes. I'm not bad at all. Okay, I'm 30 minutes from where I'm delivering, so I'm good. And that one delivers in the morning. So I'm delivering like 3 in the morning. I should be good. I'm going to take me a nap. And I'm 30 minutes and it's at night. So that's one thing. Houston, you really want to do what you want to do at night. It's like Los Angeles on crack. <laughs> it's bad. Y'all should have seen where this truck was at the other day. Anyway, I'm rambling and I'm tired, so hopefully they get me back here. Because I'm going to come right back out here, park this truck, and go my black butt to sleep. I'm just saying. And then I'm going to have to do, I think I do a reset. Let me look at my hours. Oh, yeah. I got I got 10 hours left. So, I ain't <laughs> And I got 9 hours coming back tonight. Another 10. And I already know them. If, if I if I let it roll, they give you little beer stuff. They give you local stuff. I'm telling her to do a reset. I'm gonna tell her to set my PTA to this. Um, because I deliver at three in the morning, so five, six, seven. So five to five is twelve hours. Five in the morning to five at night, twelve. Five in the morning the next morning. That's twenty-four. So we'll say five o'clock on the eighth in the evening. Yeah. That's what I do. All right, y'all. Peace.